Madam C. J. Walker, born Sarah Breedlove, born December 23, 1867, passed May 25, 1919, was an African American entrepreneur, philanthropist, and political and social activist. She is recorded as the first female self made millionaire in America in the Guinness Book of World Records. Although in Oren's research we find that Annie Turnbow Malone was before her, even teaching her. Multiple sources mention that although other women, like Mary Ellen Pleasant, might have been the first, their wealth is not as well documented. Walker made her fortune by developing and marketing a line of cosmetics and hair care products for black women through the business she founded, Madam C.J. Walker Manufacturing Company. She became known also for her philanthropy and activism. She made financial donations to numerous organizations and became a patron of the arts. Villa Lawaro, Walker's lavish estate in Irvington, New York, served as a social gathering place for the African American community. At the time of her death, she was considered the wealthiest African American businesswoman and wealthiest self made black woman in America. Her name was a version of Mrs. Charles Joseph Walker, after her third husband. Early life Sarah Breedlove was born on December 23, 1867, close to Delta, Louisiana. Her parents were Owen and Minerva Anderson Breedlove. She had five siblings, who included an older sister, Lovania, and four brothers, Alexander, James, Solomon, and Owen Jr. Her older siblings were enslaved by Robert W. Burney on his Madison Parish plantation. Sarah was the first child in her family born into freedom after the Emancipation Proclamation was signed. Her mother died in 1872, likely from cholera, an epidemic traveled with river passengers up the Mississippi, reaching Tennessee and related areas in 1873. Her father remarried but died a year later. She was orphaned at the age of seven. Sarah moved to Vicksburg, Mississippi, at the age of ten, where she lived with Lovania and her brother-in-law, Jesse Powell. She started working as a child as a domestic servant. I had little or no opportunity when I started out in life, having been left an orphan and being without mother or father since I was seven years of age, she often recounted. She also recounted that she had only three months of formal education, which she learned during Sunday school literacy lessons at the church she attended during her earlier years.